Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign are set to drop their new collab album Vultures this Friday and in today's video we're going to be taking you guys through everything you need to know about this album from the announcement of the release date to the features and much more and make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss a single video during this rollout. So Ant, are you excited about this? I'm always excited for a new Kanye West album and I do feel like the community is engaged more than ever especially for 2023 so you guys listen. We're going to be doing a massive live album reaction this Friday for Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign's new collaboration album, Vultures. If you guys want to check out the Patreon plan, all you guys got to do is hit the link in the description or the pinned comment, and we're going to be doing it on the reaction tier. So, I hope to see the whole community there. But Lou, listen, we got massive news today. Uh, I woke up this Monday morning and I'm like, well, it's finally happening. Kanye West decided to press the red button and the red button has been pressed. So take us through these updates. Absolutely. So the first one, of course, is the album announcement. So Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign were performing at Club Live in Miami on December 10th, Sunday. And, they, and Kanye pretty much took the mic and said, album dropping Friday. And that's literally all he said. And this could be a good sign to the community just because if you remember the Donda rollout, yes, we had a bunch of release dates that were thrown out that didn't really end up panning out. But this time, Kanye West is saying it himself. For Donda, he was absolutely silent. So do you buy this yes or no just because I don't? Yeah, I'll okay, be real. Listen, I'm 50-50. I'm on the fence about it. Because as you said, the last rollout that Kanye did, um, he didn't even announce the album. He actually never announced nope. that the album was coming out. Apparently, it was actually forced out by the record labels, which is pretty ironic just because he probably would have held on to that album for an extra two months. But that's my problem is, you know, like you get the date from Kanye. He's done this before, for example, um, let's say for... I'm not sure. What album did he announce a date for? And then after that, he completely like missed Like Yandi, you're saying? Yeah, I'd say probably like a Yandi situation where he gives you a date. And then after that, oh, well, it's being pushed back a couple of days <laughs> after. So that's a possibility, guys. I want to tell you that right now. That's probably a possibility. But if we're taking it at face value and we're taking his word for his word, it's coming out Friday. So I guess, listen, I'm 50-50. I'm on the fence about it. But why are you unsure about this at the moment? Is it just, is it just because like it's Kanye West and you're like, well... Every single Absolutely. time this happens, it's because yeah. it's fucking Kanye West. I mean, at the end of the day, we know the way that he works in his creative process that he'll work on an album until the very last minute. Remembering the Don the rollout, he was giving us these listening parties and he was changing the music and adding songs literally like minutes up until the official release date. So I definitely personally don't think this album is done because, like I mentioned, he's always working to the last very minute. And what if? It's 11.59 p.m. on Thursday night, and he's like, you know what? I don't like how my vocals are mixed on track three. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it all. But the thing is, you never really got in a track list from him before, before an album is dropped, right? It's, it's pretty rare, so that's a good it, sign. It is pretty rare. So, and I mean, it, is that the final album? It might be. What's also interesting is that he's been previewing a lot of music already, even yes. before the listening party, which we'll get into later. So, Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign um, landed in Miami. They went to this Jamaican restaurant, and they had a surprise listening party for this album. And what's cool is that we heard features on the songs that we could say, I guess, are confirmed that those songs end up making the cut from Playboy Cardi, Future, Young Thug, Quavo, Charlie Wilson, Lil Durk, and Ant Clemens. We also know some confirmed producers include Timbaland and Pierre Bourne and other rumored collaborators, Chris Brown, Fred again, Sai High the Prince, Nicki Minaj for New Body, Young Lean, Freddie Gibbs, and Metro Boomin, of course. So... How do you feel about just the collaborators? Are there any surprises? No. Anyone that you wish was there? Really good stuff. I'm really yeah. happy with it, actually. I am. I, everything that I've heard so far, because the thing with the Kanye album is that you, you want to get, I can't say artists on his level, because it's so hard to find, right? Yeah. And who is? Yeah, you, you really, yeah, at that point, it's a toss-up. But out of all the collaborators that I've heard so far, and everyone that's been kind of like working on this album, quote-unquote, it's all been like A-list talent. It's really been like top-tier talent. Everyone from Metro, Freddie Gibbs. Like those are two collaborators that I hope make this album, yeah. especially for the hip-hop community. How cool would that be? But in your opinion, just looking at the way that the track list is forming out and, you know, the rumored collaborators, have you heard anything that's really caught your attention from the snippets? I'll be honest with you. I tried to stay clear the most I possibly could from these snippets just because I don't want them to really 
dictate my expectations going into the yeah, album. Yeah, has been posting a bunch of snippets up on the That's end of our Twitter. It's so been hard to escape it's hard, our own It's been Twitter. hard to ignore <laughs> our own Twitter, bro, <laughs> yeah. literally. Um, I will say this. I did hear everybody, which is the intro. I heard maybe 30 seconds of that, and I was fucking ecstatic because I grew up listening to like the Backstreet Boys and shit, and that's a classic song. Um, what's interesting is that you have Charlie Wilson vocals on it, which I absolutely adore every time that he's on a Kanye song, yeah, whether absolutely. it be No Mistakes or something um, like a Bound 2. So that's a big w but besides that it's really instrumental heavy not too many vocals on that track um what else did you hear because that's the only one besides maybe five seconds of hearing cardi's feature that's all i really yeah, listened that's all to I really heard and yeah you're just getting like classic yay sampling and i love the way that he chopped it up it, you, like you could hear a kanye sample from like the moment um that you get into it but lou take us through what's happening in miami because this is a massive piece of information um so we have a listening party yes, and they're going to be doing it i believe it's at rave at sawgrass mills in miami so sawgrass mills isn't that like a mall i think so i, I feel like that's a mall i, I so. went shopping there on vacation a couple yeah. of times with my mom Imagine just like checking out like Saks Fifth in the mall and you have Kanye West performing next to like Santa Claus. It's fucking bro. crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Yeah, that would Why be Why not? That's crazy. Listen, I, I'm, I'm almost certain there's going to be a stage and maybe it's going to be like near the mall. There's no way. That's why, because I was kind of reading it out. I'm like, yeah. Sawgrass Mills, I've been there before. Yeah, there's no way they're performing in the fucking mall, bro. I'm, who knows? <laughs> I've seen crazy things. Like, what, isn't it one of the biggest malls actually in North America? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a massive mall. Maybe the rooftop of the mall? Like, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Okay, but look, okay, let's see. Yeah, getting into it's this. going down yeah. December 12th, 12 a.m. Eastern, and they're calling it a rave. So I'm assuming that um, they're going to have a huge crowd involved within this. Yeah, there's probably going to be like a light show, maybe like a whole stage set up. That, that's what we're guessing. But what does this yeah. tell you about this album? Do you think it will be a Donda type situation or a Jesus is King situation where you get the listening party? And then there's changes made to that track I, I think it's going to be like a yay situation. Remember when he was doing like all of the live listening parties in Wyoming? Yeah. Uh, where like the ranch was open and you had a bunch of influencers come through. I, I think it might be that and situation. And the album was final with that listening yes, party, Yes, it right? was final with that listening party. I, I think it's probably that situation where he's going to gather a large amount of people. You're probably going to see a lot of people attend this as well. And um, you probably get the month, like you get it on, th on Friday. I, th that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Because the thing is, is that with the Don, the situation... You had gotten these listening parties without a date. There was no date. It's true. There was never a date. So I think he was playing the waters with that. But you have a confirmed track list. You have confirmed songs that he's previewing. Uh, Ty Dolla Signs in a full rollout with him. I, I, I think it would be like the ultimate mislead if you were to say, fuck this, I'm not dropping on Friday. At least with the other album rollouts, he never came out. There was never really like an official rollout. Yes, you're at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta and that it was a huge crowd. He was previewing the music, but... This does feel more official than like any other rollout that I've gotten from Ye. So I kind of compare it to 2018. You know, it yeah. kind of reminds me of that run where like you got snippets, you got track lists, then you got into like, let's say the live album reaction uh, with the entire crowd. Like you get what I'm trying to say? So that's the way I kind of feel about it. And the fact that they've been working on this for a while and that there was another date where they were supposed to surprise drop it, which didn't end up panning out. Gives me a bit of confidence where it's like, okay, at least we, we missed one release date. That's a good sign because usually it's never the first release date that you get for a Kanye album. But let's talk about this track list, which was posted up on Ty Dolla Sign's Instagram this past Friday. And features weren't listed. We saw it was 18 songs. So let me ask you that. I mean, looking back at like some of Kanye West's previous collab albums, or I should say his only two collab albums that have received so much praise over the years from Kitsy Ghost and Watch the Throne. Both of those had condensed track lists of 11 songs or 7 songs. So now hearing 18 songs, that makes me a bit worried, especially knowing that you already have an absolute skip on there, which is Vultures. So does the amount of songs you're getting scare you with no, that? No, I, I don't think so. Just because of all the collaborators that are apparently going to be on this <sighs> album. You, ha you Imagine you have a massive featured list with some of the best collaborators in the industry coming through for 18 songs. I get it and I understand, but even if you, let's say, look at KSG, I, I mean, the most you had was maybe Yassine Bey and Pusha T. You know, and then after that, if you want to go on to watch the throne, and Ty sign, but yeah. yeah, you go on to watch the throne and what did you have on that? You had Beyonce, Frank Ocean and pretty much it if I, my memory serves me correct so i think that yes if you are going to have an extensive feature list with a bunch of different producers and this is going to feel like a kanye west album experience 18 songs is perfect for me i don't think it's getting into the donda range where you're going to have like half the album that feels like bloat because 
It's 26 songs plus. And yeah. I absolutely love Donda. I'm not saying anything against it. But I do think 18 songs is a sweet spot just because of the collaborators. If you don't... Uh, if you, sweet yeah. spot. I wouldn't say sweet spot. I would say like 15 songs uh, would have been uh, maybe a three, sweet so, spot. For, listen, bro. for three songs, I'm, I don't care. For three songs, oh, I don't man. care. I, under, I think I under, it's too much. But I understand your concern with Vultures, though, because Vultures was an extremely underwhelming single. So let me ask you that. Where do you think they're going musically with this? Because... You know, we understand what Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign could do together. Obviously, you're probably going to find Ty Dolla Sign doing a lot of the hooks. He's probably going to take a lot of like the background vocals. He's probably going to be in that sort of role. And then you're going to have Kanye doing a lot of the verses in production. So where do you think they come together? And how do you think having so many different collaborators come into this album is going to affect the experience? Because this is something that you and I have spoken about on the podcast before. Usually when you get a collaboration album... You don't have a lot of other like features that come through. It's usually those two artists that are yeah. working together, and that's They're it. They're going against the grain in a lot of ways, like you just mentioned. The fact that it's loaded with features. Also, like I was saying, when you think about some of our favorite collab albums in hip hop, looking at Without Warning, looking at Kitsy Ghost, Watch the Throne, What a Time to Be Alive, they always work so well because they leave you wanting more. And I feel like we might be left with too much with the 18 songs. But um, in terms of what we're gonna get, I mean, listen. I think you're going to get a lot of love tracks. I think the direction is also going to be Kanye West addressing a lot of the controversy like we saw with Vultures, like we saw with the logo with like Germany's coat of arms with a jacket he was rocking. So I think he's definitely going to go into a controversial route for better or worse. Um, apart from that, I think that you're definitely going to get some gospel vibes on here which has been the theme of Donda, Jesus is King. If you're following Kanye's trajectory, you know that Yes, you might not get like non-secular music, but you will be getting a lot of religious themes um, throughout the track list. I yeah. think that's pretty much a lock. A lot of love relationship type songs as well as something I think that we're in for. Um, just looking at songs on here, um, song titles, I should say, like So Good or Fuck Summon, Back to Me. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely going to be a theme of that. Um, but yeah, man, I I'll be honest with you. I'm not overly enthusiastic about this. I don't think we're going to be getting um, one of Kanye's stronger projects. And I'm just going based off of what I heard. I, I would love to be shell-shocked and surprised and have an album of the year contender, which is still possible. But based on Kanye's current form, based on the single, based on the track list length, I don't think we're in for this incredible album experience like we're used to getting from I think Kanye it's going to be a good album. I think it's going to be a nice listen. I hope. Uh, that's what I think. No, he'll, he'll never drop mediocre stuff. He's never done it in his career. Jesus King was arguably mediocre. It was maybe a, a likely a good the album. The production was fantastic on it. At least that's not gonna, enough to make an album like no, the, the but, but, I mean, quality, but, like, but that was different because that like objectively speaking like it's not a bad album. That was just because like expectations weren't met with it and it was a it's completely different round. Though. I wouldn't call it a mid album. But listen, guys, last little update before we actually wrap this up. Um, new sources today from Miami are saying, and there's actually pictures that surfaced online. Um, you do see why the YS logo, the official like I guess Vultures logo, yeah. um, spray painted on a bunch of different like sidewalk portions in Miami, and one of them reads out this: "Looking through your eyes, I can't see why you'd want to change." So maybe that's going to be a song lyric. Maybe yeah. that's going to be new branding for merch. Artists usually do that. They'll take a song lyric and they'll blow it up. I know Drake's done that in the past before for certain rollouts. So little last piece of information, maybe to add a bit more value to this rollout. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Where do you think Kanye's going with this? And um, how do you think him and Ty Dolla Sign are going to be able to team up for this collaboration album? Because we've seen a lot of great work from them in the past, but this time... Maybe things are different. So, guys, let me know in the comment section. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I want to see you guys there at 12 a.m. Eastern time if this album drops on Friday for our live album reaction to Vultures. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.